Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send email alerts to your Notion automatically. So here we are going to connect Gmail application as the trigger application and Notion as the action application such that whenever you are going to receive emails in your Gmail inbox, some specific kind of emails and the data of those emails will be delivered to your Notion's database automatically. And guys, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And you can set up this automation without any coding skills. Let me show you how you can do it. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and we have pasted this link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to set up your automations and test them. Right, so you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this, okay? And here you have to click on this create workflow button to start setting up your automation. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Gmail to Notion Automation, okay? Right. So after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, you can see we have this trigger and action. So with the help of these uh, two things, we are going to set up this automation. So trigger here guys, is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So in our use case, the trigger application would be Gmail and the action uh, and the trigger event would be receiving of email inside Gmail application. Okay. And here the action application would be notion to add the data, right? So guys to connect with Gmail here, we are going to use a feature of Pabli connect, which is called email parser. So email parser feature of Pabli connect is going to watch out your inbox and every email that you're receiving in the inbox will be forwarded here into a email parser address. Let me show you. First of all, you have to choose this email parser feature here and it will give you a parser address. So with the help of this, we are going to make a connection by adding this address as the forwarding address of your inbox. Let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, you need to reach on the dash or uh, on the inbox of your email account. So this is my Gmail account guys. And here you can see I have this settings icon, click on settings. From here, click on see all settings option and you will reach this page. From here, click on forwarding and pop IMAP option. And here you can see we have this forward a copy of incoming emails to option. Here you have to add a forwarding address. So let me remove this previous address that I have added. Okay, so that's how you can see a button in your inbox add a forwarding address. So click on that button and here you have to paste this forwarding address that you got. So just click on copy here from here and paste this address here in this field in the forwarding address field, then click on next. And here you can see uh, a small window here. It is written proceed. So when you click on proceed, uh, a test email will be delivered to this address in your workflow. Okay. Here you can see as I have copied this forwarding address, it started showing waiting for the parser's response. So from here, when you click on that small window to, to proceed, a test email will be delivered to your workflow. Let me show you. Here click on add a forwarding address, paste the uh, parser address like this, then click on next. And from this small window, click on proceed. Okay, you can see a uh, confirmation code has been sent to this address. Okay. So you can see that you will get a response here in your workflow like this. In this response, you can see all the labels that you are going to receive in real time when you are going to receive an emails. And here you can see the test content and you have this body text label in which you will get the content of the email, the text content of the email. And here you can see we have received the test uh, text like this and here we find the confirmation code as well. This is the confirmation code you can see. So you just have to copy this code from here like this and you have to reach back to your inbox and you have to paste the code here in this confirmation code field. Okay. 
and then click on verify and you can see this parser address has been verified here okay now you just have to select this forward a copy of incoming emails to this address okay just click on it then scroll down and from here click on save changes and you can see on the top bar here it is written you are forwarding your emails to this address okay so we have added a forwarding address here now guys whenever you will receive a new email in this inbox the workflow is going to be triggered and the data of the email will be fetched here let me show you i am here going to click on recapture email response button from here click on yes and it will start showing waiting for the parser response again now i am going to send a actual email to this inbox from my another account okay and the details of that email will be received here so i am opening my another email account so this is another account and here i am clicking on compose and here i am sending this email sending an email to this person and in this inbox only i have added the forwarder okay so here let me type a subject so guys i have written this email for this person the subject is book club reviews topic and this is the name of a book and this is a kind of email i have written and i have taken the example of a book club and uh, they discuss uh, uh, new books every week at the club okay so this is the topic of the book and this is something about the book so i am sending this email to this person in which i have added the forwarding address so let me click on send here and you can see the message is sent the email is sent now let me show you directly in my workflow if we got the details of this email or not and guys here you can see in this response section we got the details of the email so it is showing the display name of the person uh, from whom we have received the email the email address and the subject you can see book club reviews okay and here when you scroll down you will find the body text field as well in, will, in which you will get the whole content of the email this is the whole text content okay that's how we can capture the emails from our inbox now guys i want to filter out these emails only which we are getting about the book club and the discussion about the books okay and only those emails i want to add in my uh, notions database okay for that we are going to apply this condition here that the emails about the book club only should be delivered to my notion for that we are going to use the filter feature of Pabli connect so with the help of filter you can apply this condition okay and here it is asking when you when i have applied this filter it is asking to select the label and then select the filter type and then put a value so guys here i am going to select this label that i have received in the trigger the subject header subject label in which we got we have received the subject line okay so i'm going to select this label here so when you click here it will show you the trigger step like this and when you click on it it will show you all the data from here map the subject map the subject label like this i have mapped this label this subject label okay and here uh, i want to filter out the emails uh, only which there is a uh, there is something about the book club and the topic of the book club so whenever we got an email with the subject and in the subject we have this book club keyword then only i want to send those emails to my notions to my notions dash uh, database okay so here in the filter type i am going to select contains option and here in the value i am just going to put the keyword as book club okay so this means whenever i receive an email in which we have the subject in which we have this keyword that is book club those emails only will be filtered out and only those emails will be sent to the notions database okay so click on save and send test request here and you can see the condition is true for this email okay so when this condition is true what we want we want to uh, add the details of the content of the email in my notions database for that i have clicked on this plus icon and another action step is here from here you have to search for notion application okay select notion and in the action event you have to select create page option so it will create a new page inside this database you can see i have this database guys named as from inbox and these are the pages i have in this uh, inside this table 
Okay, so to create a new page, just select this create page option here, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection and here you can see uh, the instructions to make this connection. So you have to fill the access token of Notion, the API token here. And to get that token, you need to reach the connection section uh, of a Notion and then you have to add an integration there. Okay, so you can just read the instructions and follow them one by one. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So this is my Notion's uh, applications data database. And here you can see on the left hand side panel, I have this settings and members option. Click on setting and members. And here you can see we have this connections option available here. Click on connections. All right. And under connections, when you scroll down, you will find this develop or manage integrations option. Click on it. All right, and here you can add a new integration by clicking on this plus new integration button. Okay, and here you can give uh, a name to this integration. So I'm giving the name as Gmail inbox. You can give any other name as well. Okay, here you have to select the workspace. I have only workspace, I have selected this. And from here, keep all these things selected. And from here, click on this submit button. Okay. And here you will find this integration token. So click on show and then click on copy and paste this token here in this field in your workflow. Okay. And then after uh, pasting the token, you can read the instructions first and uh, you have to do some, a few things more, few things more here. Now we have created an integration and we have to add this integration into this database. For that, you can see we have this three dots here on the top right click on it and here you will find this add connections uh, option here on the last option okay from here you have to search for that integration that you have created so here you can see in this list it started showing this gmail inbox integration click on it then click on confirm here it is saying gmail inbox will have the access to this and all the child pages yes click on confirm Okay, so we are connected with this integration that we have connected, that we have created with this database. Okay, now guys, we are done here. Now you can copy this token and paste it here and then click on save and you will be connected with Notion like this. Okay, and here you can see you have to select the database's name. So it is showing you the name of the database. Just select it and here you have to map all these things. The sender's email, the content, the name and you will find all these things here in the triggers tab in this data, okay? In the email that we have received from the parser. So to map the data here, just click here on this field and it will show you the previous two steps in the dropdown. From the triggers tab, map the email of that person from whom you have received the emails, okay? And to map the email content, use the same process and map the content from this text body text label. Okay, this is the content here in the sender's name. You will find the from display label from here. You can map the sender's name. Okay. Okay. So we already have mapped the content. So you can leave this default content field blank. Now you can check your connection with your database by clicking on save and send test request and your data that you have mapped here will be added here inside this table. Okay. So let me click on save and send test request here. And you can see this is the response we have received. Let us check in our database if we got the data. And here you can see we got the data added here like this. The sender's name is here, the sender's email is here and the content of the uh, email is here. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that guys, whenever you are going to receive any email, which have this keyword in the subject that is book club that em those emails will be filtered out and the data of those emails will be added inside your database in notion automatically like this and the workflow is going to run in the background okay and guys you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, 
please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel